guys, this is Amy with AdisEaseStamping.com and today I'm going to show you how to make a really quick and easy card using the Fresh Fruit Stamp Set. This has been one of my favorite stamp sets that Stampin' Up! Um, has had and unfortunately it's on the discontinued list. So you can only get it until May 31st, but that's still a month and a half away, so you've got some time. But remember, everything on the discontinued list is while supplies last. But the stamp sets, they are guaranteeing, I think, until May 22nd, something like that. The thing I like about this stamp set is you've got the peaches, the pears, strawberries, cute flower. But the sayings are really cute, too. This one says, love you more, thank you, I use this a lot, happy birthday, uh, P.S., my best stories are with you. I'm here for you. And this one right here says, we age not by years, but by stories. Anyway, we're gonna be making a cute, simple card using the Fresh Fruit Stamp Set. And here's all the supplies we need. I've got some Pear Pizzazz cardstock, Peekaboo Peach, my Peekaboo Peach ink, a little bit of designer series paper, and a few other things I'll tell you about um, as we get to it. So let's get started here. First thing we wanna do is we wanna score our card base. So here I have a piece of pear pizzazz cardstock, which is just it's an eight and a half by eleven sheet of paper cut in half. So it's cut at eight and a half by five and a half. And then what we're going to do is we're going to score it at four and a quarter. And I just take my stamp and trimmer, and I like to use this because it has the cutting blade and a scoring blade on it. So I just set it at four and a quarter. Score done. I like to fold um, my score lines in so that the part that's sticking up is on the inside. Push it down and then uh, if I could find my bone folder, I would use that to score it. Oh, here we go. So then press it down. All right, we'll set that aside. All right, so what we have here, I think we'll do our stamping first. So really simple. I just have a scrap piece of white, Whisper White cardstock, and I am going to stamp the peach. So we're gonna need, this is a two-step stamp, so I'm gonna want the inside of the peach and the outside of the peach. My stamps are kind of a mess here, so just ignore that. Once you start stamping with your uh, photopolymer stamps, they will get stained, it's totally fine and normal. It doesn't matter at all. All right, so. So first what I'm going to do is I'm going to stamp with the peach. I've got a block here. All right. And I want to stamp off because I want the first image not to be super dark. Now this stamp is supposed to kind of look like it's sort of watercolored. So it's okay that it's not fully going to show up. I'll show you what I mean. See how there's a little bit missing? That's normal. We, we want it to look like that. Okay. Grab my stamp and scrub. Stamp is clean. All right. Now we're gonna go with this stamp next. This time I'm not gonna stamp off the stamp. And I'm gonna do my, let's see if I can line this up. I'm gonna do my outline. The nice thing about the photopolymer stamps is you can see, oh, it's a little bit crooked. Um, you know what, I'm okay with that. Let me wipe this off. As I always say, cause my kids, I have a teenager, so those with teenagers can probably relate. They like to point out anytime something is not correct. And I always tell them that's how people can tell it's homemade. So, all right, so, oh, actually we need a little bit more peekaboo peach. I wanna take on the front of this piece of peekaboo peach cardstock, which was cut at five and a quarter by four. I want to stamp the thank you. If I can find the thank you. Here we go. This block's kind of big, but it's gonna work. Let's see here. I wanna stamp thank you right here in this bottom corner, pretty close to the edge. So let me get that on there. Okay. And I wanna get it as close to the bottom right corner as I can. Perfect. All right, now we're done with our ink. Now, Peekaboo Peach, if you like this, this is one of our 2000 
2016 to 2018 in colors, which means it's only going to be around for another year. So if you love peach, you'll want to check that one out. All right. Now I'm going to take my two inch. Got to find it. My two inch punch. And I'm just going to punch this out. The cool thing about our punches is they store flat. And so you just push the button. I'm going to put my peach in there. And I'm going to cut this out with the two inch punch. Oh, you know what? I already see. Nope, this is right. I'm going to cut it right here in the center. Punch. All right. Put that away. Okay. So now we're just going to put the card together. So, I am using the Fruit Stand Designer, Designer Series paper. This is cut at five and a quarter by two inches. And this is from the Designer Series paper stack called Fruit Stand. It's only available while supplies last. This is also on the discontinued list. And I thought really quick, for those of you who are scrapbookers like I am, I love Designer Series paper. In fact, the reason I'm even a crafter in general is because I like to collect paper. This paper stack is called Fruit Stand, and you get 12 sheets, two of each. Uh, so they're six, but they're double-sided. The thing I like about this is it's got peaches, strawberries, pears, lemons, super cute, the colors. We've got Cucumber Crush in there, some Daffodil Delight, Flirty Flamingo, Pear Pizzazz. There's some Peekaboo Peach, obviously, in there. Tangerine Tango, that's that orangey color. Watermelon Wonder, one of my favorites and then obviously Whisper White. But fruit may not appeal to you, but all our designer series paper is double-sided. So you flip it over and you have completely different. So these are more simple stripes. There's the Peekaboo Peach again, Tangerine Tango. Love this cute apple paper. In fact, I think I'm gonna do a teacher project with that. So if you like this designer series paper, I know at least as of this morning, it was still available. So I would definitely uh, pick up a pack of that before it is gone. So again, I have this piece of designer series paper here, and I have a piece of our Peekaboo Peach ruched ribbon. Now this is just, I'm not even sure what this is cut at. Let's see, this is cut at eight inches, but I'm just simply gonna take this and wrap it around here. And when I do stuff like this with ribbon, I just like to either take a piece of tape or I take my adhesive and I just put some adhesive on the end and then I just wrap it around. Now this ruched ribbon is also on the discontinued list. The cool thing um, that Stampin' Up! does, at least that I think is cool, is that most of the ribbon does not carry forward year to year to year because they replace it with brand new ribbon to stay on trend. So this is a really good time to pick up ribbon. Um, some of it is even um, marked down and on clearance prices. But the thing I like about our ribbon is you get 10 yards in every roll which is a ton. So again, this is the ruched ribbon. Okay, so I just attached that to my piece of designer series paper, and now I'm going to attach this to my, let's go a little bit there over the ribbon, to the front of my cardstock here. And since I already stamped the thank you, I just wanna make sure I'm not covering it up at all, so I'm gonna go right up to that. All right, and now I'm gonna put this on the front of my cardstock base, or sorry, on the front of my card base, like so. Oh, and you know what? I can see that this is a little bit crooked. And you know what? I'm just gonna pop it up and repress it down. Let's try this again. There we go. Perfect. Now, I'm gonna take my cute little peach here, stick some adhesive on here, put it in the middle of this hair pizzazz circle. This circle I cut uh, using my uh, uh, the layering circles, the uh, framelit layering, layering circle framelits, just the small circle with my big shot. Okay, and these are little white doilies. These are, I think, I'm not sure if these are discontinued or not, but uh, they come with a whole bunch of a pack. Like, I've never ran out of a pack, and I've been using them all year long. So, I'm going to stick this right on the front of here. And then I am going to stick some adhesive on the back. you got to be a little careful when sticking adhesive on the back of the doilies because they are really delicate. 
I'm gonna stick this right here on the front. And there you go. There's my su super simple, fast, sweet little thank you card with the peaches. I did make a few other ones. This one here I did with the strawberry. And as you can see, this one um, is done in the pear pizzazz. And then I also use Watermelon Wonder cardstock. This right here is the Watermelon Wonder um, 5 8 inch striped, or it's called mini striped ribbon. Uh, this is a fun one um, to get. I love those stripes. This one right here I did with the pears. And I did this one in Tangerine Tango with Cucumber Crush, which is actually Cucumber Crush is one of our... Uh, 2015 to 17 in color so this one's retiring uh, and uh, the the ink is actually cucumber crush this is pear pizzazz but I use the cucumber crush ink tangerine tango that's just a little bit of washi tape instead of ribbon I think this washi tape I can't remember what set it's from but I know it's in the current catalog but I think all the washi tape might be sold out and then this one's using the cute little flower, and I stuck one of our little pearls in the middle. Again, this is our um, mini striped ribbon, the Watermelon Wonder. This right here is the Peekaboo Peach, same as our first card. And my base is Tangerine Tango. So you can see right here, it's my four cards. They were so quick and simple, very easy to make. So I hope you enjoyed this video on using the fruit stand, fruit stand stamp set. Thanks, bye-bye.